In this video clip, we learn stepwise regression. The idea is to develop the least squared regression equation in steps, adding one independent variable at a time and evaluating whether existing variables should remain or be removed. Here the idea is to use a forward stepwise regression. We can also use a backward stepwise regression starting with all the independent variables and remove one variable at a time until no variable should be removed. Or we can use a general stepwise regression where at each step we may either add or remove an independent variable. The coefficient of partial determination is the measure of marginal contribution of each independent variable, given that other independent variables are in the model. That is, we can use coefficient of partial determination to decide which variable to add or which variable to remove. We see an example here. We have standby hours as dependent variable and total staff remote hours, meeting hours, total labor hours as independent variables or candidates of independent variables. We can go to PHSTAT regression, stepwise regression. Where variable cell range A1 through A27, X variables cell range B1 through E27, and uh, First sales in both ranges contain label, confidence levels for regression coefficients, you can use 95%, stepwise criteria, we can use p-value or t-values, they are identical actually. Then we can use general stepwise forward selection or backward elimination. For generality, we can pick the general stepwise, p-value to enter, p-value to remove. By default, we have 0.05. This is a little bit uh, strict. We may use a greater p-value here. We may use 0 0.15, 0 0.15. Okay, we click OK. Then we see the first uh, independent variable added is total staff. The second added is remote hours. Then we stop. No other variables could be entered into the model. Stepwise ends. So we find uh, this model where we have p-values for total staff and remote hours less than 0.05, quite small actually here, so which is good. 